Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk about Fair Abraham and her daughter. Um, her daughter just recently celebrated her 13th birthday and ended up getting a nose piercing for her present. So I wanted to share my thoughts. If you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I'm sure if you're clicking on this video, you know who Farrah is. She is a teen mom and someone that I just recently covered. I know about her, but let's be honest, she's just not that interesting and I don't have a whole lot to say. I, I personally think she's dumpster fire. Her daughter just recently turned 13 a couple days ago and for her present, Farah let her get her nose pierced and people were really unhappy about this. What I want to do in this video is I want to segregate it being Farah's daughter and let's just talk about this as a general concept. I will tell you guys a little bit about my history when I got my first piercing and then go into my opinions about this because there's a lot of just like fake outrage. I think that there are other things to be upset about besides this, let's be honest. Um, so I got my ears pierced. I think that I was six or seven years old. I went to a like Claire's, it wasn't even like a piercing place and I got my ears pierced. So right before I turned, I think it was like right before, right after I turned 16, um, my mom took me to an actual piercing place and I ended up getting it done with her approval, you know, and then everything else I got once I turned 18 as far as tattoos and other piercings. If I had it my way, I would have probably wanted my nose pierced when I was younger too. I'm glad that I ended up waiting until I was a little bit older, but, um, there are so many people that are just so beyond irate with this decision and the fact that a 13 year old got her nose pierced. Um, I don't know. I don't really think that it's that serious. At the end of the day, if it needed to be removed for any reason, she did get her septum. So it's the in-between. It's not going to leave a scar. It was done in a safe place. Um, you know, it was done sterile and everything like that. It's just really funny to me to see people so mad about this. Um, and I realize that like facial piercings are not for everyone. I just so happen to think that a, a nose piercing is the best facial piercing that you can have. I know that everyone has their own opinions and that's mine. I, you know, I was never a fan of like, um, the idea of having my eyebrow pierced or my lip or, um, I know a lot of girls used to have their like Monroe piercing. That was never my preference, you know, whatever. Um, so I've always liked nose piercings, but I will say I would much rather have it done in a professional sterile environment than trying to do it at home or, you know, I will tell you guys the worst thing that I did when I was, I think I was like 12, I really wanted my second hole pierced and I ended up doing it with a safety pin in my bedroom. So that was a terrible idea and luckily it didn't get infected. I don't know how it didn't, but you know, if, if I felt like I could have gotten it done or if my parents would have allowed me to get it done, then I wouldn't have done it with a safety pin in my bedroom. So totally understand that people don't like Farah. I don't like her either. But as far as harping on the concept of her letting her 13 year old daughter do this, it just really seems like a lot of fake outrage. I do not think that she has been a very good role model for her daughter, if we're going to be really honest here. But do I think that her allowing this to happen was something that should just absolutely like have her, her mom card taken away? Absolutely not. I think it's crazy. The only thing that I was kind of wondering is I'm pretty sure that she only does homeschooling, but I do wonder if she was going to like a public school, do 
are you allowed to have that if you were in a public school? Because I wonder about like other kids, you know, if another 12 or 13, 14 year old wanted this done and their parents allowed them, would a public school allow a facial piercing in class? Like, is that against the dress code? If you guys have kids that are in a public school, let me know because I am curious about that. But I don't know, it, the, the way that people were absolutely just like blowing this out of proportion, I look at it and I'm like, there are so many things to critique when it comes to influencers, family vloggers, to be that upset over this, it just seemed very obnoxious to me. I don't know. It does seem like Farah is allowing her daughter to express herself with her style and the um, things that she's interested in, and I think that's really cool. I'm totally here for, you know, allowing your kids to play around with their wardrobe, their hair color. I'm here for it all. So I, I think that she's doing a good job there, but I th also know that there are a hundred other things that she's not doing a great job at, but I wanted to share my thoughts on this. I think it's really silly. What do you guys think? And what do you think about it just as a general concept? Take Farah out of the equation. Let's just talk about 13 years old, wanting a nose piercing. What are your thoughts on it? And also, like I said, tell me about the uh, public school thing because I'm really curious in that. So either way, that's going to be it for now. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.